Jonathan, as you know, um, the 5G network for us is going to be critical. Yeah. We use, uh, and, and I guess the, the SDM, you know, the subscriber data management, sits at the heart of our network. Yeah. And, in all long, and, and the SDM for us is super critical, not only because it does 5G and 4G in mobile, but our you know, fixed network also utilizes IMS that utilizes the SDM network. Yeah. So for us, it's absolutely critical. Um, can you just tell me a bit about the evolution of this product and yeah. where it's going? Okay, understood. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, for us, the SDM is sort of the core of the core, you know, so right. it's, it's absolutely essential to the right. core. It's, um, um, and we sort of coined this phrase unbreakable core for quite some time that, you know, it's this cannot go down. It's got to be so no. robust. Mm. And all of the focus is around robustness. But we've seen, you know, we've had this one NDS product for a long time. Right. Um, but we see this evolution now to cloud, we see the evolution to 5G, yeah. and we're moving to a new platform, so we're moving to this shared data layer. Right. And, you know, everyone's a little concerned by that. Yeah. You know, yeah. we've got to migrate our existing install base, which is huge, yeah. onto shared data layer. So we've got a, a bunch of tools in place. Mm. Um, we've got this SDL assistant tool, which allows us to do this migration in a very automated way. And, you know, the first live migrations in commercial networks are happening today. Mm -hmm. So uh, it sort of de-risks your network, for example, that, mm -hmm. you know, you're seeing this happening in the field already. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, from our perspective, the evolution of SDL then mm. is is that it's not just for 5G. You know, okay, it's yeah. cloud-based, it's not just for 5G, it's for all of your access domains. Yeah. It's sort of access domain agnostic. Yeah. All of your su subscriber profiles will sit on that same platform, mm. basically. And what's critical for a service provider like us is the availability of this. Yeah. You know, and I like the way you talk about unbreakable um, network. Yeah. You know, um, and that is going to be absolutely critical when you run almost critical national infrastructure on such network. Yeah, so absolutely. That's, that's pretty good to hear. Okay, Reza, so you've selected Nokia for subscriber data management. Um, the obvious question I have to ask is, why Nokia? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, we have been working with Nokia for years in this domain. You know, our HSS in our 4G network is Nokia, uh, and we have got good experience. This is so critical to our network. You know, we really want to choose the best in this domain. And uh, so evolving that 4G experience that we have with yourself uh, and bring it into the 5G is absolutely paramount. Uh, and we've also, in part, as part of our all IP program, we're moving our fixed line into the same IMS network okay. and we utilize you know, the SDM technology for that as well. So for me, uh, from the, uh, what you provide as a product is very important uh, in terms of features and services, yep. but also operationally. You know, for me, it's always 50-50, you know. Yeah. Can we run a good product on this? Can we, you know, build a good service on it? But can we support it and yeah. operate it? Yeah. And uh, so that experience with yourselves helped a great deal. Your roadmap and the stuff that we're doing together operationally to keep this uh, network running is why we chose um, the SDM okay. for 5G. Understood, thanks. Yeah. So Jonathan, you know how important the SDM is to the network, yep. you know, and as, I, and as I said, it's 4G, 5G, fixed line, everything. What are you guys going to do to ensure operationally, you know, when you talk about how critical this is to the infrastructure, what are you going to do to help an operator like BT operationally support such a critical platform? Yeah, that's a really good question because it's, it's not just the software. You know, right. and, and, you know, we've got a lot of experience in building the software and it's very robust and we spend a lot of time making sure it's robust, you know, right. we test it to death, basically. Uh, but it's also, you know, once it's in the field mm. and it's running in your network, how do we make sure it's robust? How do we make sure that, you know, it's delivering yeah. what you need? And that's absolutely key. So, you know, it's the, it's the services wrapper around it as well as making sure we have the right experts in the right places, right. you know, that, that we, we have a sort of 
a very clear understanding of the architecture and the robustness mechanisms and and as we said you know it's it's moving down that automation route as well but yeah. route, moving down the automation route safely mm. you know you could automate everything you know no manual touch and yeah. uh, you know you've got to be careful how you do it especially for something like SDM so I think it's uh, it's it's a lot of things all wrapped up. You know, the software is only one element of it. It's sure. it's the whole services wrapper. It's how we work together. You know, it's um, and be, especially because of its place in the network. It's it's that degree of trust we've got to have working with Absolutely. each other as well. Yeah, understanding the traffic profile. Yeah. a huge amount of work goes into totally understanding how the traffic profile works. Yeah, exactly. How we can protect the network from any issues. So, yeah. yeah, it's good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.